put together day by day six or seven bands with the different styles, the different approaches, and, and everything about it, I think it, I think that makes it unique because it, uh, it showcases a lot of different things. I think when people think of a big band festival, they're going to think of a whole lot of different things. You know, they're going to they're going to think in terms of maybe that it's all swing bands or that it's all this or that. But this has such a variety and I think that's what makes it unique that it's not all just one thing or that it's not all the same type thing. How about the audience? How sophisticated a, a, a listener comes to this show? Actually I've really always been pretty impressed with our audience because and I think the musicians enjoy it too because we really do have uh, an audience that really seems to understand and appreciate the music and it goes back and forth with the musicians where they they know that because the audience reacts to the right things and so on so it's always been nice that way it's been great we've been doing these for a long time and it's just we've we've been lucky to build up a really really great audience over the course of how many days is the show this one is five, actually. Well, four and a half, but it started in an evening and carries on full days for the next four days. So really five days. So for people who are interested in, in big band music, how much difference is there between big bands? How, how, how do they differentiate? Well, there's quite a bit of difference depending on the concept of the, the composer, the arranger. A lot of the band leaders that we have this weekend are also the arrangers that write their own material for their band. Not all of them, but quite a bit. So it, um, it, there's a lot of different variants in terms of approaches. So there's some things that uh, are a little more leaning towards, uh, you know, extremely more modern, contemporary big bands. There's things that um, are more uh, rooted in the West Coast jazz the 1950s there's some things that are more rooted in the swing era and a lot of things in between that um, that showcase a lot of standard tunes or right with with our new arrangements of them a lot of original music this weekend as well mm -hmm. so there's a lot of variety even though we're looking at ensembles that are similar in instrumentation but there's a lot of variance too there's a lot of little subtle variance in the instrumentations the band we just heard had a tuba and uh, you know, earlier the, there was a rhythm section that included vibes and Latin percussion, and there's uh, been a variety of reed doubles and so on and so forth. So there's little subtle differences in all the different ensembles that give it a whole different tonal sound and color. Mm -hmm. And so there's been a lot of different sounds and approaches, even though visually it may look similar, but musically it's been uh, pretty unique. Mm -hmm. How many festivals are there, big band festivals in the United States like this? Not any others that I know of. I'm sure there must be some other things, but there's nothing prominent that sticks out that I know of that's all big bands. And for people who want to keep in touch and follow what you're doing, when you're doing it, where would they look? LAJazzInstitute.org, and that'll keep you up to date on everything.